We're going to get started in just a moment. Um, before we do, if all of you wouldn't mind joining me and just take a moment of silence in memory of Ed English, who would be sitting somewhere right here. Um, so please. Thank you. Um, we do have people seated upstairs who hopefully can hear me. If you are upstairs and you wish to speak, please come uh, downstairs and um, it'll probably be easiest if you come down the left-hand aisle. I'll be able to see you better. That being said, the legal voters of the town of Woodstock, county of Windsor, state of Vermont are hereby notified and warned to meet in person at the Woodstock Town Hall, 31 The Green, Woodstock, Vermont, on Tuesday, October 29th, 2024, at 6 p.m., at which time the special town meeting will commence to transact the following business from the floor. Article 1, shall the voters of the town of Woodstock authorize the select board to spend up to $920,000 to purchase substantially all of the assets of the Woodstock Aqueduct Company, Inc., but excluding parcel ID 03-02-22 from the town's existing undesignated general fund balance, and this is subject to redu reduction from the application of any available grants and aid or donations. Uh, the legal voters of the town of Woodstock are further noticed, notified that voter qualifications and registration relative to said special town meeting shall be as provided in chapters 43, 51, and 55 of Title 17 Vermont statutes annotated. You must be registered to vote in the town of Woodstock in order to vote. Article 1, having been read, what is your pleasure on Article 1? Is there a motion? It has to be on the floor. We need to get the article on the floor before we can do anything. Is there a... Jill Davies moves the motion. And Susie, say, seconded. Okay, uh, you had something you'd like to present? Yeah, uh, first so, you want to introduce yourself and we'll go down the line. Sure. For those who don't know me, I'm Matt Maxim. I'm the town moderator. To my left is Eric Duffy. Hi, I'm Laura Powell. I'm on the select board. I'm Greg Fullerton. Ray Bourgeois. Susan Ford. Carrie Cole. I'm Charlie Dagener, the town clerk. And I believe the board had wanted to be recognized first. Yes, thank you. Um, so first, I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. Um, I want to take a moment and just look around at how many people we have in this theater and upstairs. This is what democracy is all about. This is what we wanted when we started talking about this a month ago publicly. We want people to come out, be informed, and vote. So I just want to thank everyone who came out tonight, who are here right now. We appreciate it, and thank you very much. We're here tonight for a very simple reason, uh, but also we think a very vital one. Um, and that is the question of whether Woodstock wants to control uh, its water systems uh, for the future. Uh, so that's a question in front of the residents tonight. Um, this is the official language that um, Matt just read, um, but basically comes down to we're voting tonight to acquire the Woodstock Aqueduct um, and all its assets outside the Vondel property uh, and for Woodstock to run its own water system like we run our own sewer system and our own fire department, and our own police department. Um, in simplest terms, uh, the acquisition price is $920,000. Uh, that is to acquire all the systems needed to run the water system, um, including all their assets. Uh, the board is asking for approval to purchase it uh, through two streams of income. Uh, one is grants, $463,000 of grants uh, from the state uh, the state's very in favor of this acquisition. They're giving us money to help offset the cost. Um, the other is $457,000 from our undesignated fund balance. Um, that is basically a surplus fund. The town has grown over the years for bringing in more revenue than budgeted. Um, I can't hear upstairs. Can't hear upstairs? Okay. 
have any issues upstairs, we'll wait a second so we can get that all set. While we wait, if you have your cell phone, can you please silence it or put it on vibrate? Um, that would be very helpful. Thank you. If there are any troubadours here, I suspect we may need some entertainment in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want me to sing. I'll, you, I'll say that much. I sing like a prisoner, always behind eight bars and trying to find the key. <laughs> so here's something else. I think we should just go. I know bad they can't. Sign the paper for awards recently for people's house? No, I was. You were. I, I received the Silver Beaver, which is the yeah. highest award an adult can really? receive. Really? Yeah. Awesome. I saw the headline and read yeah. the article. So. Yeah. Yeah. Pay no attention to the men behind the curtain. All right, we're going to keep going. Uh, thank you for your patience. Um, so the other stream of income uh, we're suggesting using is the undesignated fund balance, uh, which is a surplus account that the town has acquired over the years uh, for bringing in more revenue than budgeted and having less expenses than um, budgeted for as well. Uh, beyond running the water system, there are assets and plots of land involved in this deal. Um, so you can see here about four or five acres of land will get one of those uh, parcels is the solar trackers you see on Route 12. Um, there's also uh, various equipment that comes along with it, including an excavator, a skid steer, tractors, the solar panels, and also the distribution systems as well. Um, those are valued somewhere between estimated 2.1 and 2.3 million dollars when you kind of take the actual value of them. Um, so those are the assets involved, and I'll turn it over to Laura to keep going. All right, last two slides really quick. Um, so what a yes vote means tonight is that you support the town of Woodstock acquiring the Woodstock Aqueduct Company, all of its assets and inventory, excluding the Vondell. If the vote passes, the town will own the water utility and all taxpayers will be able to vote the annual, on the annual water budget on town meeting day, just as we do for the sewer budget. Um, what a no vote means. A no vote means you do not support the acquisition and if the vote fails, the aqueduct company will continue to own the water utility. And that's it. That's all we've got tonight. Tried to keep it simple and sweet. Okay, now we will entertain questions from the floor. I think there was one up. Did you have one, Doug? So Doug has made a motion for a paper ballot. If seven voters would raise their hand asking for one, we will do this by paper ballot. We kind of assumed that was going to happen. Um, when the time comes, you will come up to my left, your right, um, and you have to check in with Charlie and Carol at the checklist. They'll hand you your ballot, and you'll bring it over here, and we will have a justice of the peace um, with a ballot box over here. And any justices of the peace that are here could come help us, because we're going to need your help counting ballots. So uh, we need to vote on that. Uh, we don't need to vote. Seven people asked for it. Sorry. Go ahead, Jill. Uh, 
Um, that's not actually something we can do. The question was to limit discussion for till 20 minutes and then vote. Um, at any time, you can call the question, but that takes a two-thirds majority of those present. So if after 20 minutes you want to call the question, but it will take a two-thirds majority if there are a bunch of people who still want to talk, I, I don't have the authority to limit discussion. Yes, Gail. Um, can, so there, when you go to vote, you're going to have to check in with the town clerk. We have a checklist of legal voters. So if you're not on that. Uh, that's really not germane right now. And nobody can hear you. So hold on. Um, if you can get up to the microphone, there are people upstairs who can't, or I can repeat the questions, but um, if, if you're able to get to the microphone. Yeah. I'm just curious why this isn't, isn't just something purchased by the village as opposed to the town. Hi there. Uh, my name is Laura. Um, so the question on the floor is whether or not this isn't a purchase by the village and the town. Uh, the town is the buyer in the acquisition, and that's because um, we have users in the system outside of the village. The village is not a perfect overlay for the water system. In fact, we have many villagers that aren't on the water system. We also have many town residents and institutions like the Thompson Center, uh, the middle school and the high school um, that are on the water system. Yeah, well, just behind you and then I'll get to you. Yes, sir. Jim, oh, hi, Jim. <laughs> Well, that's just, that's just how they're presenting it tonight. So Jim's question was the, f the phrasing of what a no vote means. And, and Jim was saying, could it be um, a no as presented? Which a no vote doesn't mean that the select board couldn't bring this back before you in a different way. Well, that's their interpretation of what a no vote means. That's not anything that's warned. That's just their presentation. Yes, and then I'll then in the back after. Yeah, I read the daily list serve, and I've seen uh, a lot of what to me seem like rational arguments made for setting up a water district, and I've tried to find the answer to, as to why a water district isn't being set up and why this purchase isn't being made through a water district. What is the answer to that question? Why is there not a water district for this purchase? So for those of you who don't know, a water district is a body of government where the users govern um, how a utility is operated. Um, we do not have that for our sewer um, system. I've been told and seen on the listserv that we have a sewer district. We do not. All voters vote on that every year. Um, in terms of why we're not purchasing it through a water district or, or doing that, at this point, uh, this board, um, and the town staff view that as a, an extra layer of bureaucracy that's unneeded, <laughs> as it is for those of you who've come to our conversations about goals and priorities for both boards this year. Something we're trying to do is make our government more efficient so it can be more effective. Um, and so right now our view is adding a water district or purchasing it through a water district is not something that achieves that. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Um, Alan, I believe, and then. Sure, Alan, can you hold off for just a couple minutes? They still can't hear us upstairs. If if we could. Yeah. I will. So you have to keep your questions brief so I can remember them.
looking around at all these filled seats, I just wanted to remind all of you, you could take out your phones and um, mark your calendars. March 1st will be town meeting day here. <laughs> We would love to see all of your smiling faces then. Maybe? <laughs> um, the people speaking the microphone, mm -hmm. they should be able to hear them upstairs. I'm going to repeat questions because yeah. people are so packed in okay. I can't get out. All right, let's try this again. I will just... Um, we're so packed in, it's hard to get to the microphone, so I'll repeat the questions as long as... I can hear you, so go ahead, Alan. You're on. Okay. <laughs> Asked and answered. Can we do something so you can hear? Uh, up closer to the aisle, and then I'll get to the one next to the wall. So Bob has made a motion to move the question. Is there a second? There's a second. Okay. Understand, this is a non-debatable motion to end all debate and go directly to a vote. This requires a two-thirds majority of those present in order to do that. So let's start by asking all those in favor of ending discussion and going right to voting, say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. That being said, we will now vote on Article 1. Um, so Charlie's going to have the checklist over here. This is going to take some time, but uh, just move along as quickly as you can. And if we have any of the JPs here that can help out, that would be great. What's that? If, if everybody in the middle would just sort of wait, we'll let the left side go, because this isn't going to work as it is right now. My bad. Yeah, we're going to come down your right and back up your left. So if we start on the left side, it'll work a lot easier. So folks, if, if those of you up front can somehow move out, because people are going to need to come across to get to the ballot box. Those of you right up in front of the seats, I, I'm sorry, that was, I shouldn't have uh, let it become a free-for-all.
folks, if we can clear out the front here so people can get to the ballot box, this will go much, much faster. I've asked three times yeah. for that. <laughs> if the folks in the right hand aisle could just wait so that I can get the people in the front row to the checklist and to the ballot, because that's what's clogging up the works right now. So if the, the gentleman with the hat right in the front, if you can just wait, if everybody behind you can wait until we get this cleared out, I think it'll speed it up tremendously. Thank you. And I'll remind people, too, this is the only article we're voting on tonight, so you don't have to stick around for the counting. You can find out later on. I'm sure it'll be well-known and well-publicized quite quickly. 